The uterus is an organ in the pelvis. It's where a fetus develops and grows during pregnancy. Your uterus is a pear-shaped organ in the reproductive system of females. It's where a fertilized egg implants during pregnancy and where your baby develops until birth. It's also responsible for your menstrual cycle. Your uterus plays a key role in your reproductive health and function. The three main jobs of your uterus are 1. Pregnancy Your uterus stretches to grow your baby during pregnancy. It can also contract to help push your baby out of your vagina. 2. Fertility Your uterus is where a fertilized egg implants during conception and where your baby grows. 3. Menstrual cycle Your uterine lining is where blood and tissue come from during menstruation. Your uterus looks like a light bulb. It's about the size of your fist. It's also commonly described as an upside-down pear. Your uterus has two horn-like organs at the top, the fallopian tubes. It connects to your cervix at the bottom, which is the part that opens, dilates during vaginal delivery. Your uterus has several sections. Fundus, the uppermost and widest part of your uterus. It connects to your fallopian tubes, corpus, the main body of your uterus. This is where a fertilized egg implants during pregnancy. Isthmus, the part of your uterus between your corpus and cervix. It's where your uterus starts to narrow or thin. Cervix, the lowest part of your uterus. Your cervix opens to your vagina. Your uterus is in your pelvis between your bladder and rectum. It's supported by your pelvic floor muscles and perineal body. Ligaments in your pelvis, lower back and hips also help hold your uterus in place. Your uterus consists of three layers. 1. Parametrium, the outermost protective layer. 2. Myometrium, the highly muscular middle layer. This is what expands during pregnancy and contracts to push your baby out. 3. Endometrium, the inner layer or lining of your uterus, uterine lining. This layer of your uterus is shed during your menstrual cycle. Inside the walls of the fallopian tube, muscular contractions gently push the egg towards the uterus. After ovulation, the egg lives for 12 to 24 hours, so it must be fertilized by a sperm from the male during this time for a woman to become pregnant. If it's not fertilized, the egg dissolves away and is shed along with the uterine lining during menstruation. During your menstrual cycle, the lining of your uterus goes through several changes. The lining gets thicker and rich with blood as you near ovulation. If an egg is fertilized during that cycle, it implants into the lining of your uterus and pregnancy begins. Your endometrial lining sheds if pregnancy doesn't happen. This process repeats every menstrual cycle unless pregnancy occurs. If conception occurs during your menstrual cycle, the fertilized egg implants into your uterine lining, the fertilized egg burrows into the endometrial lining of your uterus. This is when pregnancy officially begins and you miss your menstrual period. Your uterus grows and stretches like a balloon to accommodate your growing baby. It contracts during labor and delivery to help push your baby out of your vagina. After about six weeks, your uterus returns to its pre-pregnancy size, although it can be slightly larger and show signs of being stretched. Your uterus is about three inches from top to bottom and two inches wide at the widest part. It's about one inch thick and weighs around one ounce. Your uterus is one of the most unique organs in your body. It can stretch from the size of a lemon to the size of a watermelon during pregnancy. Your uterus can be up to two pounds when your baby is born. Your uterus shrinks down to its normal size and position about six weeks postpartum after giving birth through a process called involution. Before pregnancy, most of the space in your abdomen is taken up by the large and small intestines. There is no real separation between the areas of your pelvis and abdomen. In its normal position, your uterus is above and behind the bladder, with the cervix protruding into the vagina. The pelvic colon, rectum, and anal canal are behind the vagina and uterus. At six to seven weeks of pregnancy, you may be experiencing early signs of pregnancy, including your period stopping, nausea, breast tenderness and swelling, frequent urination, and fatigue. At this point, your uterus has begun to grow and become more egg-shaped. The pressure of the growing uterus on the bladder causes a frequent urge to urinate. At the 12th week of pregnancy, your uterus is the size of a grapefruit and completely fills the pelvis. The fundus, the upper end of the uterus, 
is just above the top of the symphysis where the pubic bones join together. This upward growth of the uterus takes pressure off the bladder and decreases the need for frequent urination. At the 20th week of pregnancy, your uterus can be felt at the level of your belly button or umbilicus. The pelvic colon and small intestines are crowded upward and backward. The ascending and descending colon maintain their usual positions. At this point, your uterus is especially enlarged where the placenta attaches to it. At this point in pregnancy, the top of your uterus is about one-third of the distance between the belly button and the xiphoid cartilage at the lower end of your breastbone. Constipation is common because your uterus is pressing on your lower colon and hormones slow down your body's excretion process. Between the growth of your uterus and general weight gain, you may be feeling fatigued. Some women also experience heartburn as your uterus presses against your stomach. At 36 weeks of pregnancy, your enlarged uterus almost fills the space within your abdomen. The muscles of your abdomen support much of its weight. At this point, the top of the uterus is at the tip of the xiphoid cartilage at the lower end of the breastbone, which is pushed forward. At full term, or 40 weeks of pregnancy, the fetus head has generally lowered into your pelvis, where it takes up most of the space. This is called lightening. The canal of the broad and large cervix is still filled with the plug of mucus. If this is your first pregnancy, the small opening at the bottom of your cervix is usually not dilated. Whereas if you have given birth before, it will often be open as wide as two fingers sometime before labor begins. You can see that the round ligament is long and enlarged. It is also farther forward because of the twisting of the uterus. The enlarged uterosacral ligament is shown stretched taut by the enlarged uterus. Backaches in late pregnancy may be due to the stress of the weight of your uterus on the ligaments that connect it to your spine. Your uterus can lie in several positions. A typical uterus tilts forward at your cervix and points towards your abdomen. This is called an antiverted uterus. Most people have an antiverted uterus. If you don't have an antiverted uterus, you might have a retroverted uterus, commonly called a tipped or tilted uterus. This is when your uterus is tilted or tipped backward, so it curves toward your spine instead of forward toward your abdomen. Two. Antiflexed uterus. Your uterus is antiflexed when it's bent forward. The tilt is severe and can put pressure on your abdomen or bladder and cause painful symptoms. 3. Retroflexed uterus. Your uterus is retroflexed when it's bent backward. The tilt puts pressure on your lower back. You may never know you have an irregularly shaped uterus if you don't have symptoms. In some cases, you'll have symptoms that require treatment by your healthcare provider.